The American Recovery and Reinvestment Act will create or save between 3 million and 4 million jobs throughout America. These are good paying jobs right here in America that we desperately, desperately need. The number one issue on the minds of most Americans is the loss of jobs. More Americans lost their jobs last year than in any year since 1945. 2.6 million jobs lost last year. I'm here to represent the millions of families who are suffering from every aspect of this crisis. My family has a house in foreclosure. We have been without medical insurance. Now that we are about to have medical insurance again, it is going to take over a third of my husband's income. I have children who receive special ed services from their schools, and we are looking at all of those services being cut. This crisis has spiraled out of control. My family is now looking at the possibility of my mother, who had plenty of investment income left to her by my father as part of his retirement package, dwindle from being able to support her for the rest of her life to possibly lasting less than three years. I can't find a job right now because most of the businesses in our area have had to lay off and cut even the smallest of jobs. There are some 46 states that are suffering right now or potential cuts in education. There are 25 that are looking at proposed cuts in K-12 and 30 states that are looking at cuts at, at community college and four-year institutions. We need to do something about that now. We have an extraordinary lending crisis, and then we have on top of that an extraordinary mortgage crisis, and on top of that we have an extraordinary jobs crisis. And if we don't act boldly, if we don't dive in, then these three crises together conspire to create a downward cycle that will touch every family in America as it did during the Great Depression. Now there were those during the Depression that said stand aside and the economy will cure itself. And there are those today that say stand aside and the economy will cure itself. Well, I'm here to say that it didn't work in the 1930s and it isn't going to work in 2009. Bold action is needed. We need to act quickly and responsibly and as boldly as the challenge we face. The bill we hope to pass this week will help create jobs in every state in the union, including 160,000 jobs, I hope, in my home state of Illinois. The type of jobs we'd create uh, through this bill are impossible to outsource. These will be good paying jobs right here in America. Just as importantly, these workers are not only going to go back to work, they're going to lay the foundation for our economy to grow in the 21st century. Their work is going to include modernizing our schools to help our children be better prepared to compete, weatherizing our homes and office buildings to save billions in energy costs, reducing dependence on foreign oil, and being honest about the issue of climate change, building a modern transportation infrastructure which will make our economy more efficient and businesses more competitive, and so many other areas. This bill is structured to get the money out quickly to the states where the jobs will be created. We don't have a moment to lose. An investment today uh, means uh, an opportunity uh, for tomorrow. It improves the functioning of our society. Once people get working, once we uh, initiate the start, the Economic Recovery Act will do those things today so that in the years ahead we can educate our kids, we can keep them uh, uh, healthy, uh, and get on with our, our lives. Uh, there's a lot of work to be done in our country, uh, building roads, bridges, schools, and new energy systems. America has a lot of work to do and Americans desperately need um, work. And the only thing missing presently are jobs. And if this bill is passed, that's what will be created, our jobs.